Lionfish are originally from the Indo-Pacific region. They are thought to have been introduced to Florida in the late 1980s through the aquarium trade, when someone released a tank of about 15 to 20 lionfish into the ocean. Since then, lionfish have spread throughout the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea, as well as up and down the east coast of the United States throughout the Atlantic Ocean, as far north as Massachusetts. Lionfish are able to spread very quickly because they have no predators here due to their venomous spikes that protect them. Also, they lay about 2 million eggs per year that largely escape predation due to a natural repellent. Lionfish are such a big issue because they are indiscriminate predators that eat pretty much anything they can fit in their mouth. Specifically, they target a lot of coral reef species, which can upset the delicate balance that exists in the coral reef ecosystem. Red-eared sliders originated from mid to south central United States and northeastern New Mexico. They were introduced to Florida in 1958 and have been introduced to many other states as well. They're omnivores, so they can eat just about anything and are very adaptable to many climates. Red-eared sliders became very popular pets due to a show, The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Many people are unaware of the size and lifespan of these animals. They can grow to about 12 inches and can live up to 50 years. This caused many pet red-eared sliders to be released into the wild. As harmless as this may seem, these animals are currently outcompeting Florida's native turtle species, the yellow-bellied slider, for food and basking sites. This is also happening in other states with their native species. A solution to this problem could be Fish and Wildlife's Amnesty Day. Two days out of the year, the Fish and Wildlife Conservation holds an event where people can relinquish their unwanted pets with no questions asked. Fish and Wildlife will find a safe home for them so they are not released into the wild.